Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to our channel. Muslim Parenting in the West and please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our video today if you find it to be helpful of course. Today we want to share with you as to how we have been teaching our three-year-old daughter Safa the Arabic alphabets. We'll be talking about a variety of ways we are teaching her the letters uh, including videos, books, and implementing activities. Uh, you can skip to whichever part you like as we do have a time code on the show description below. When Safa was about 18 months old, we started off by showing her the Arabic alphabet song by Zaki, which is available on YouTube for free, and we will have a link for the video on the show description below. When Safa was about two years old, I purchased this board book called Learning My Arabic Alphabet by Asma Wahab. Uh, she loves this book. It's um, ideal for children who love books and love to look at the beautiful colors and pictures. It's a sturdy board book, so your little ones won't be able to rip the pages out. It's always a good thing. And it also exposes your young ones to Arabic vocabulary, and it has transliteration so that you can pronounce uh, the words correctly as well. In addition to the book that Noshin just mentioned, we did decide to purchase the Zaki One for Kids subscription, which was $39 a year. The app, which you can download in your phone and tablet, includes a host of Islamic educational videos. We thought the videos on Zaki complemented the vocabulary and Arabic letters uh, from the board book that Safa had learned. We really like that Safa is using vocabularies and zikr like Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, and Subhanallah as they are emphasized through different songs and a variety of characters in Zaki. So we definitely do think the One for Kids app is a great investment. Safa also loves her Omar and Hana cartoons on YouTube, which also contributed to her learning Arabic letters, as well as the zikrs like Bismillah and Alhamdulillah. Our friend gifted us these wonderful Arabic foam puzzles. We play Arabic alphabet hunt, where I ask Safa to find us a specific letter, and she'll search around the house to identify the letter and bring it to us. Um, overall, Safa loves this hunt game, and it's quite enjoyable for her. We do this activity about once or twice a week. Now many times we have Safa search for the Arabic letters in a whiteboard. She gets to use the color markers to circle the correct letter. Safa enjoys using her magnifying glass because it makes her feel as if she is a, she's doing detective work. Therefore, the overall activity becomes enjoyable for her. Another alphabet match activity that we do with Safa involves stickers. Safa loves stickers, so we write out the Arabic letters on a piece of paper, and Safa would peel off each sticker, identify the letter, and match it with the correct letter on a sheet of paper. We have purchased the Nurani Qada book recently, written by Sheikh Noor Muhammad Ar Rai. The, this is, of course, the traditional method of teaching Arabic to your children, which is the way I learned uh, growing up. We have not used the lessons in this book yet for Safa, uh, but given her age, we, we may be using it more as she grows older. We made a colorful Arabic alphabet chart in Safa's room, and we tend to go over the letters with her every few days just for exposure. Now, over the course of time, we have realized that it is best to learn one alphabet or one letter a week. So, for example, if she's learning Alif, then we will spend each day of that week through a variety of activities to expose Safa to just the letter Alif. Recently, Safa and a couple of friends in the community who are similar age to Safa have started a Zoom class. Uh, they are about 20 minutes long. The activities in the Zoom class are based around the Arabic letter of the week, including the Arabic alphabet sing-along, a read-aloud, and art activity that goes with the letter. Examples during this Zoom class include using Play-Doh to make the letter that we are learning. Also, we do a craft that goes with each letter. For example, for the letter Alif, we made a lion puppet since Alif is for Asad, meaning lion in Arabic. Um, this also teaches them a little bit of vocabulary. We know that each one of us are either good visual, auditory, tactile, or a kinesthetic learner. So we can learn from watching, listening, or doing hands-on work. Our goal is to, of course, make sure that we give our young one the opportunity to learn in many ways than simply traditional, the traditional uh, method of reciting from a book. I hope you found some of our tips helpful. Please share with us your tips that you have with your young ones to teach them the Arabic alphabets. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.